Welcome back to another session of Lexio Divina. Today we're going to be reading through Colossians 1 verses 15 through 20. If this is your first time joining us or your first time doing Lexio Divina, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to read and pray through scripture with us today. Just so you know, I'll be giving you step-by-step -step instructions the entire way through, so there's no need to worry. This is one of my favorite practices for spiritual growth because I believe Lexio Divina accomplishes a couple of different things. Number one, it helps us to pray through Scripture, it helps us to read through Scripture, but it helps us to meditate on God's Word. It helps us to set our minds on things above. And so I'm really excited to be reading through Colossians 1 with you today, and I hope that it is meaningful and beneficial for you. So what we'll be doing today is reading through Colossians 1, 15 through 20, four separate times. Each time, what we'll do is we'll pick out different words or phrases that are meaningful for us. But before we get started, what we're going to do is take a couple of deep breathing exercises. The reason for this is because we want to be able to calm our souls, to calm our hearts, and really to even calm everything so that we can just be prepared as we enter into Scripture and so that we're ready to accept and to really be open to what the Lord is going to be speaking through us today. So let's go ahead and do the first breathing exercise, which is simply a deep breath in and a deep breath out. So go ahead and take a deep breath in. All right, so the second breathing exercise, we're going to breathe in for about three to four seconds, and then we're gonna breathe out for about six to eight seconds. But please only do what's comfortable for you. Remember, all we're trying to do is to calm ourselves before we read scripture. So let's go ahead and breathe in. All right, so like I said, we'll be reading through Colossians 1, verses 15 through 20, four separate times. This first portion, what we'll do is we'll read all the way through, and at the end, we'll pick out words that are meaningful or that stick out to us. So I'll say a few words, and then I'll allow you time to either speak out loud or to write down words that are meaningful for you. So let's go ahead and read Colossians 1, 15 through 20. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Creation. Reconcile. All right, so we're going to go ahead and read through Colossians 1, 15 through 20 a second time. At the end of this portion, what we'll do is say a phrase or two that speaks out to us. So once again, I'll say a phrase that speaks out to me, and then I'll give you time to do the same. Let's go ahead and read through Colossians 1, 15 through 20 a second time. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and read Colossians 1, 15 through 20 a third time. And at the end of this portion, what we're going to do is say a very short one to two sentence prayer based on one of the verses that sticks out to us. So I'll go ahead and say a short prayer at the end of this passage, and then I'll give you time to either write down or say a prayer out loud. And after about 10 or 15 seconds, I'll go ahead and move on to the next section. So let's go ahead and read Colossians 1, 15 through 20 a third time. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him and for Him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. And He is the head of the body, the church, He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Jesus, thank you so much for coming to this earth and going to the cross and rising from the dead so that we can have new life in you and so that we can be reconciled to the Father. All right, so we're going to read through Colossians 1, 15 through 20 one last time. And at the end of this portion, we're just going to remain still and quiet and meditate on the verses that we read. So after about 10 or 15 seconds, I'll go ahead and close this out with prayer. Let's go ahead and read Colossians 1, 15 through 20, one last time. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in Him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. God, we thank you so much for coming to this earth. We thank you so much that you are a God who understands what we go through. You understand our suffering and pain. We don't have a God that is far away or somebody who doesn't know what we go through. But God, you came to this earth. You were with us, Emmanuel, and you lived among us. We thank you so much for the work that you've done. And we pray that you would help us to live in that new life, that new reconciliation that you give to us. We pray all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to pray and read through Colossians with me today. I hope that it was meaningful and beneficial for you. And I would love to hear what stuck out to you. Go ahead and drop a comment below. I would love to hear um, what was in Colossians that had some sort of impact on you. So I look forward to hearing your feedback and I hope you'll join us next time. So thanks again.